Hello viewers, this video is a part of a series called I Do Everything, where I show you how I do it. Today's video is about building a retaining wall with bricks and concrete. It's going to be a small and short project, so stick till the end. This lobbing area is going to be a landfill and this wall will hold the soil as a temporary measure. Now, to prepare the concrete, I'm using a pan to measure out the mixture and I usually mix it in the ratio of 1 to 4, 1 part cement and 4 parts sand. Here, I want to highlight that there are different ways to mix depending on the masonry work that needs to be done and also it depends on the worker what ratio they want it. It could be 1 to 5 for a more economic purpose or it could be 1 to 3 if you want it to have a stronger bond. Personally, for pre-claim work, I go for the 1 to 4 ratio which also happens to be the most common one. So today I'll be going for that. If any of you know a better way, feel free to let me know in the comments. Now I'm using a small garden hoe because it's way easier than using a trowel. Make sure that you mix it well before pouring in the water to prevent the cement from forming inconsistent parts. I'm pouring in a bucket of water making sure I don't pour too much. I don't want the concrete mixture to be too loose and runny. I want it consistent. A good rule of thumb is to pour in just a little at first and add little by little until you get the right consistency you want. Take a look at this. It's perfect, so let's go. I had already prepared the groundwork before, so that we can go ahead and start building the wall immediately. Now, if any of you want to build a wall in your compound or backyard by yourself, I recommend you to watch till the end, because who knows, you might learn something new, or maybe you could just watch and do it the way I do it. So stick to the end of the video. Here, I'm just gonna pause the video to highlight a very important thing. If you're building a wall, I highly recommend you to use a string as reference for straightening the brick layout and a plumb pop. Yes, that's called a plumb pop. Use that to check the vertical alignment of the bricks. But here today, I'm building just a short wall, so I'm just gonna eyeball the brick layout without using either of those.
but I felt it necessary to show you how to use the string as reference. So I'll just do a quick and short demonstration. Tie the string across the entire length of the wall and follow the line while you place the bricks as close as you can to the string. It is as simple as you see. Now that I've shown you, I'm just going to remove the string and go ahead laying out the bricks. It's easier and faster and I wanted to complete it by evening. It's looking a bit curved right now, but that's okay because it's just a short and temporary wall until the landfill is removed, so it doesn't need to be straight or pretty. Again, if you're building a brick wall by yourself, I recommend you to use the string and the plumb pot.
Here, I want to show you how it looks. Just the layout of the bricks. It's rough and will not be strong, so we need to fill the gaps and seal the spaces in between the bricks. This will result in the wall to have more strength. Of course, a little bit extra concrete will go in there and a little bit more for time. But if you're not going to plaster it, doing this will reinforce more strength to the wall. Most people leave the part out. That's the reason why brick walls crumble at a slight touch. Now I'm just gonna use a broom and brush off the rough edges for a smooth finish, it's gonna look much better. Moving on to the brick laying part again, I didn't really think this video would be longer but I really wanted to show you from beginning till the completion so apologies for the long video, it's 15 minutes into the video and if you're still watching, a big thanks, you're the best. Now I'm just gonna let you watch the video and listen to some great relaxing music until the video ends. Hopefully you learn something new today.
and that's how it turned out. Let me know what you thought about the video, don't forget to like, share and comment and subscribe with notification. See you on the next video.